The movie begins in the Amazon rainforest in 1973. It introduces us to a pregnant woman named Constance and her friend Ezekiel. They are on a hunt for a unique spider, known for its potent venom which is said to heal and give extraordinary powers to humans. Constance shares with Ezekiel rumors of a tribe who have superhuman abilities due to the spider's venom. Their mission is to find this spider. Constance succeeds in finding the spider, but Ezekiel betrays her by shooting her, stealing the spider, and escaping with plans to use the venom for personal advantage. Following this, tribe members find Constance and take her to their cave. There, a spider bites her, infusing her with its venom while she is pregnant. Sadly, after her daughter is born, Constance dies. A tribal man promises to raise her daughter, Cassie, ensuring she will one day learn of her mother's legacy. The film fast forwards to 2003, where Cassie, now 30, works as a paramedic with her colleague Ben Parker, saving lives in emergencies. She's a bit clumsy, but really likes her work. We watch her driving an ambulance to the hospital with a patient, while her colleague Ben assists her. Suddenly, a teenage skateboarder named Matty blocks their way, annoying Cassie. At the hospital, a boy whose mother they saved just now gives Cassie a homemade card to thank her for her help. Cassie is unsure what to do with it, but Ben tells her she can just throw it away later. They also meet a girl named Julia, the stepdaughter of the same woman. During dinner, Ben shares with Cassie that he's met someone special. Back at her place, we meet Anya, who lives in the apartment below Cassie's. Then Cassie discovers things left by her deceased mom, Constance, including that her mom was born in Peru and notes on a spider research that intrigues her. Later, Cassie and Ben rescue a man from an overturned car. Then, Cassie gets stuck, and the car begins to sink into water. That same time, she begins to experience many odd visions and hears numerous voices until Ben saves her. After being rescued, Cassie sees another vision and hears Ben's words before he says them, as if she can now see the future. In another scene, Ezekiel is shown sleeping next to a woman he met at the opera. Despite being old, Ezekiel looks young because he had gained special powers from the spider he stolen took 30 years ago. He is disturbed by repeated dreams or visions of his own death, which involve three girls, and this makes him want to kill them. With help from the NSA's technology, the woman assists Ezekiel in finding his targets. But after getting information from her, Ezekiel ends up killing her. At the same time, Cassie goes to a coming-of-age party at Ben's house to find out the gender of his sister-in-law Mary's baby. Mary is married to Ben's brother Richard. They all share happy memories of their moms and Cassie talks about how her mom died tragically in the Amazon. While Mary asks Cassie to name her baby, Cassie starts seeing visions of the future and feels like she's experiencing same events again and again. Later, Cassie sees visions of an accident involving O'Neill, another paramedic, she warns him, but he doesn't listen. And the visions became true and he dies in accident. Meanwhile, Ezekiel gets into the NSA's tracking system with the help of Ameria, his tech assistant. He uses it to find three young women, Julia, Maddie, and Anya, who he thinks could become spider women in the future. The same girls we shown you at just now. Cassie goes to a doctor telling her she's having strange visions, but the doctor says she's fine and just needs to rest. At home, she sees a pigeon hit her window and die, but when she looks again, it's gone. She realizes it was a vision and then opens the window, thinking she might be able to change the future, and it actually worked and Pigeon didn't die. Meanwhile, Ameria tells Ezekiel on the subway that Cassie and two other girls who might have similar powers as him are nearby. Cassie on the train sees a vision of Ezekiel attacking the girls. She acts fast to get them off the train to avoid the danger, but Ezekiel, dressed like Spider-Man, chases after them. The girls try to get help from the police, but the police get confused and think Cassie is the bad guy. During the confusion, Ezekiel fights the police giving the girls a chance to get away. With no one else to take care of them, Cassie steps in to look after the girls, even though the police mistakenly think she's kidnapped them. Cassie decides to hide out in a jungle with the girls for some time. While hiding, the girls ask about Ezekiel and why he's after them, but Cassie doesn't have the answers. They then realize that they have met Cassie before. Julia meet because Cassie once helped her stepmom. Matty is the girl who was rude to Cassie, and Anya lives in the same building as Cassie. Cassie then shares that she can see the future, which makes the girls doubt her a bit. But Julia convinces them to trust Cassie. When Cassie gets back to her place, she hides her taxi's identity and enters secretly. 
She finds her mom's research on spider people, who get special powers from spider venom, similar to Ezekiel, including a type of sixth sense. Cassie tries to mimic Ezekiel's wall climbing ability, but can't do it. She also discovers a photo of her mom with Ezekiel. Meanwhile, the girls get closer, sharing personal stories. Maddie talks about living with her caretaker while her parents are away, and Julia shares about her life with her dad, stepmom, and brother, mentioning financial troubles. Mattie wants to check out a diner she noticed earlier, and Julia agrees, though hesitantly. At the diner, they order food and notice a group of boys. Mattie wants to talk to them, but Anya disagrees. Meanwhile, a man at the diner reads about the abducted girls in the newspaper and recognizes Mattie, Julia, and Anya. He calls the police, but the call is intercepted by Amaria, who informs Ezekiel. Ezekiel, pretending to be a trooper, calls the police to report fake sightings and cancels backup while he himself heads toward the location of the girls. Meanwhile, Cassie arrives at the woods as it gets dark and realizes the girls are missing. She follows their footsteps and finds them dancing on a table at the diner. Angry that they disobeyed her, Cassie approaches them, but Ezekiel arrives wearing his spider suit. Ezekiel attacks the people in the diner before targeting Julia, banging her head on a table. Cassie tries to defend them, but is overpowered by Ezekiel. He grabs Maddie and injects her with poison, then tosses her aside. Cassie tries to fight back with a knife, but is stabbed by Ezekiel. However, it turns out to be a vision, and Cassie is still in the jungle. After this, Cassie rushes to the diner in a taxi, narrowly avoiding an accident. Inside, Mattie and Julia dance on the table while Anya is sitting beside them. Suddenly, Cassie reaches there and crashes into Ezekiel with the taxi, allowing the girls to escape. They drive to a motel where Cassie learns about the girls' troubled family situations. It is revealed that Julia's mother is in a psychiatric ward, Mattie's parents are out of the country, and Anya's father was deported. So they can't go to the police for help, but Cassie promises to get them home in the morning. At night, while the girls sleep, Cassie sneaks out to the diner and has a telepathic meeting with Ezekiel. In the vision, she learns why he wants to kill the girls, and suddenly, she wakes up back at the motel. The next morning, Cassie teaches the girls about Ezekiel's dangerous touch and how to perform CPR. She also shares details about her mother and Ezekiel and warns them to be careful of the dangers ahead. Now, wanting to learn more about the spider people, Cassie leaves the girls with Ben and heads to the Amazon. There, she meets the tribe man who saved her mother and learns about Ezekiel's curse for stealing a spider. After this, the man pushes her into the water where she was born, and Cassie has a vision of reconciling with her mother. After meeting her mother, she discovers that her powers are just beginning, and her mind holds great potential. Meanwhile, Ezekiel threatens Amaria to find the girls. At Ben's house, Mary suddenly goes into labor. Seeing this, Ben calls an ambulance, but it's an emergency, so he and the girls decide to take Mary to the hospital themselves. During this, Ezekiel spots them and learns their location. Cassie went back to Ben's house but found it locked. Suddenly, she saw a vision of Ezekiel trying to hurt them. At the same time, Ezekiel told Amaria to mess with the traffic lights, making them all green, which trapped Ben in a traffic jam. Ezekiel was about to drop a bomb on Ben's car when Cassie got to an ambulance just in time. She bravely drove the ambulance off the second floor and hit Ezekiel in the air, making him lose his balance and the bomb to miss its target. Cassie quickly got everyone into the ambulance and told Ben to keep Mary safe. As she drove away, Ezekiel chased them by jumping from car to car. When he caught up, Cassie and the girls used the ambulance's defibrillator to shock him and get away. But then, the ambulance broke down. Cassie realizes she needs help and asks for air support from a nearby building, which is set to be demolished. They discover the building is full of explosives. Cassie takes flares from an ambulance and tells the girls to use them to mark the explosive crates. When Ezekiel arrives, there are explosions everywhere, but Cassie uses her visions to lead the girls safely through the turmoil. They get to the rooftop to find the helicopter, but explosions are all around. Cassie uses her abilities to guide them through the hazards, but Ezekiel shows up just as they're about to reach the helicopter. During this, Cassie sees a vision of a bomb coming their way and tells Julia to hide. Instead of getting hurt, Ezekiel hits the bomb, making it strike the helicopter. The helicopter blows up, and Ezekiel starts to attack them. As the girls are almost falling into the fire from different sides, Cassie uses her power. She astral projects herself to save each girl. This allows Cassie to rescue all three of them from danger, but Ezekiel doesn't give up. 
He continues to chase Cassie, who leads him to a warehouse sign she noticed in her vision before. The sign of the warehouse begins to fall apart, and Ezekiel finds himself trapped under the debris. Cassie tells him that the visions were not warning him about the girls, they were warning him about her. Ezekiel falls to the ground and gets hurt by a Pepsi sign that falls on him. Cassie also falls into the river, and something explodes near her face, making her blind forever. Julia quickly goes into the river to help Cassie, and then Anya and Maddie perform CPR on her, just like Cassie showed them how to, and they manage to save her life. At the hospital, the girls gather around Cassie's bedside, each of them grateful to one another for saving their lives. Meanwhile, Mary gives birth to a healthy baby boy. Cassie is left blind and paralyzed below the waist, but she has taken in Julia, Anya, and Matty to live together in her apartment. Cassie tells them of another vision she has, in which the four of them don their suits to become superpowered crime fighters. Cassie smiles as she looks forward to the future. With Here Movie Ends, I tried explaining it as enjoyable as possible, so please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.